Hi, in this short video I'm going to give you an introduction to the concepts for SharePoint architecture. Uh, instead of some hand waving I'm going to do some mouse waving around this uh, architecture diagram. Let's start off by looking at the core components here. In the middle here we have MMS. This is the managed metadata services of SharePoint 2010. Over here we have the general SharePoint uh, infrastructure and ecosystem for document management and uh, property management and all, all that kind of stuff. And then the rest of the things are really what I'm going to talk about now. So the main idea between, uh, behind Concepts for SharePoint is about how we can extend managed metadata service to not just provide hierarchies of terms, but also to provide relationships between those terms and to identify those terms with types and kind of just generally enrich the whole uh, experience of uh, concept-based navigation and concept-based search. So this first part of the uh, explanation is really going to talk about how um, how we put together the architecture uh, to take uh, the graph of concepts and relationships that are managed by the Web3 platform and connect them into the managed metadata service. So let's start on the left hand side with the REST service and the Web3 platform. As it says, the Web3 platform manages a graph of concepts and relationships. Those concepts or topics have a type and the relationships between those topics also have types. So you might have a topic of type person uh, called Graham Moore, you might have a topic of type company called Network Planet, and you might have a relationship between them, and that relationship has a type such as works for. Now, this allows you to build up a graph of related concepts, which is more powerful and more sophisticated than the hierarchies of terms in MMS, and it's that value and extra power that we want to be able to harness inside our SharePoint environment. So these graphs of concepts and relationships are built up uh, using the REST service which uh, interfaces with the backend data store. And these updates can come either through the API or through some of the UI tools that we provide. So for example the taxonomy manager in Silverlight, uh, you can use that control to actually build some taxonomies inside the Web3 platform. When these changes occur, they're basically populated out to a Microsoft message queue. So when you change a topic or change a relationship, that information is sent out to the queue. And this is a persistent queue, so things don't get lost. What we want to do is to synchronize into MMS the terms, the concepts, and relationships we define in the Web3 platform. So we have a CFS timer job, Concepts for SharePoint timer job, which runs in the context of SharePoint, just like any other normal timer job. This, this is responsible for picking up messages from the message queue. And when it sees a new topic has been added, or one deleted, it uses the API to MMS to add that term into the term store. The basic way it works is if you've defined hierarchies in the Web3 platform, these get mapped over as hierarchies in MMS. But in addition to that, for all of the topics which have a type, we create additional collections in, um, in MMS uh, which kind of group together topics of that type. So there'll be one, uh, one term set for all people, one term set for all products, and so forth. These gives us big long flat lists uh, which can basically be used also for, for lookup. So with the porting or the, the synchronization done, we're actually able to identify and have a kind of a handle between uh, an MMS term and a term in, uh, in the Web3 platform, a concept in the Web3 platform. From a user point of view, an editorial user point of view, the editor can come in and open up a SharePoint item such as document one go to the metadata properties for it and using a normal uh, SharePoint uh, metadata field uh, which has been set up uh, against the content type in SharePoint it's possible to basically pick and choose one or more terms from the term store and when they do this effectively all they're doing is a uh, standard SharePoint behavior which connects them from the uh, from the SharePoint item to the term itself so what we've done so far is actually no different in terms of how the user perceives what they're doing but behind the scenes architecturally what we've done now is we've actually hooked up a term in the MMS to effectively be a proxy or an equivalent to a, uh, a concept in the Web3 platform and this is going to allow us later to do uh, lots of other things like build concept pages, search for concepts and navigate uh, this graph of concepts relationships which really kind of uh, isn't isn't really possible with the uh, with the straightforward MMS